Hi there. This week we uh, we have Carignan Day, uh, International Carignan Day. So to um, commemorate that, I'm looking at Chateau de Montmel's Fitou. Uh, so Fitou in the south of France, sort of near in the, in the area just sort of north of Perpignan. Um, the producer here is a cooperative called Montoche, uh, a fairly well established cooperative. They were founded in the early 20th century. Um, this is a single estate wine from from um, from one of their properties um, and uh, Fitu is it, it, a peculiar appellation in that it actually sort of a, appears in two bands of, of land within the larger Corbiere appellation um, and so you get um, a strip by the coast and then a strip up in the hills which is where this is around the, the village of Villeneuve and in the hills you're getting to altitudes of up to about 400 meters from 100 to 400 meters uh, you've got nice friable soils so um, uh, the vines aren't getting too much water, so that, that gives you concentrated yields, um, cooling influences, um, and so you tend to get quite concentrated wines. Um, Fitu not entirely Carignan. Fitu must be at least 60% Carignan and Grenache, and can have Morvedre and Syrah in it. It tends to be that Morvedre is used more down um, by the sea in those vineyards there, and Syrah, as in the case of this, um, it makes up the, the the end of the blend in in, in the mountainous areas um, so what you've got is you've got Grenache that adds softness you've got Carignan which coming from old vines can be incredibly concentrated and rich and licoricey and can give real density and backbone to a wine and that's then supported by Syrah which will have slightly more of a sort of a firm angular tannic structure um, I've got this here in a decanter today because a wine of this sort I think very often needs uh, to breathe and just to, to encourage that, you'll see the, the way this decanter pours, there's sort of air gulping into the wine. So that helps to aerate it um, as you pour. Looking at the wine, it's got a fantastic, deep, um, intense uh, purple red color. I don't know how, whether you can sort of see that through there, but it's, it's, it's virtually opaque. If you look down through the glass, you can hardly see the stem. Um, there are vivid sort of blue hues to the redness of this. Uh, swirling it, um, the aromas, initially they come across as quite lactic and milky, and then you've got a really lovely sort of um, fresh, ripe raspberry note, um, perhaps backed up by sort of more um, deep plum notes. Um, and then, I don't think it's auto-suggestion. People talk about wines, particularly from the, the, the Languedoc and Roussillon and this sort of area, as having a smell of the garrigue and sort of smelling of the sort of the, um, the vegetation that grows um, around the vines there. Very often sort of things like rosemary. So there is a hint of that sort of um, dusty vegetation to the aromas as well. Tasting it. Gosh, I think from the taste that seems as if it's got a lot of Carignan in it. It really comes across as being quite a ripe, black licorice. There's a bitter note to it. There's quite good acidity. There's a lovely softness. There's plenty of tannins. They're quite rustic tannins. It's a big bodied wine. The um, the bottle notes it as being 14.5%. Uh, so it's still young, it's 2019, but I think maybe getting a bit of air into it's helped open it up there's sort of rich plummy red fruit flavors coming out there from behind the the, the black of the um, the licorice the flavors are lasting a long time this is a wine that um, I think US dollars is about 15 20 dollars so it's it's not expensive at all and there's a lot going on in there it's got lovely length my mouth is left feeling freshness you can feel the structure the tannins aren't angular possibly because the acidity is not high but there's enough acidity to keep it fresh um, the flavors are lasting really nicely this is a a wine that's very versatile I think to go with foods it needs foods because it's got such density um, and that would go against a, a, a sort of a, a wide array of cold meats roasted meats um, and probably barbecue grilled um, dark meat as well so um really enjoyable nice example of carignan so um happy international carignan day everybody bye now